Welcome to 843 TV. I'm your host, Lisa Richardson. We are coming to you from beautiful downtown Beaufort here today to share all about the Bridges Prep School. First joining us are two chairmen of the board, Ms. D. Matthews, and also Mr. Marty Riley talking about the status of the school and all about the construction project ahead. Joining us also is Chris Wilson. He is newly the interim head of school. So stay around and we're gonna learn a lot more on this episode of 843 TV, where communities come to speak. Eight Four Three TV, where Bluffton comes to speak, where Spring Island comes to speak, where Hilton Head Island comes to speak, where Beaufort comes to speak. Eight Four Three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to 843 TV. We are here going to talk about Bridges Prep today, and we are here with Dee Matthews and Chris Wilson, who are leaders there at the school, and we're gonna start with learning a little bit about them. Dee, thank you for joining us, Chris. Dee, you are uh, the chairman of the board there. Tell us a little bit about your role. My role basically is to lead the board. In other words, I am but one vote on the board, if that makes sense, but it is to lead the board and to ensure that when we do have board meetings that the things that are on our agenda are what is necessary to run the school and to be updated, to update our community, the stakeholders, as well as ensuring that the recognition to certain teachers or students get done, that contracts or anything else that needs to be signed for work for the school is all in order. You've got an exciting staff. We've got one sitting right here. Tell us a little bit about Chris. <laughs> we really, we had to uh, make some decisions. Our head of school took another position, gave his resignation. And so therefore we looked, we wanted to make sure that the transition was a smooth one, that it wasn't bringing um, someone from the outside that didn't know the school, didn't mm. know the people. So the board did meet on this decision and we talked and we are ex actually, we're more than excited over the choices we made. Chris was the upper school principal. For those of you that don't know him, he has this personality that like he could meet and greet. He is great with the teachers, great with the students. They all love him. So he was that warm body that was very enlightening to be around. Then Dr. Earps, who can't be with us today, she has um, some things that are going on at the school that she needed to stay and handle. She is just extremely intelligent about what it needs to be for instruction, curriculum for those things. And so she's the analytical one, not as, not as bubbly sometimes as Mr. Wilson, but together they complement and they run it and it is, it is phenomenal. We made an absolutely great decision and the transition and the continuity is awesome for the school and then everybody there. So, Well, yes. Chris, congratulations, Thank first you. of all. I Thank know you. you've got to be very excited. Very. Share with us a little bit about your background, not just at Bridges Prep, but maybe even prior to that. Sure, um, I am starting my 19th year in education. Um, I have spent the last 18, 17 years uh, teaching band, teaching instrumental music. Uh, I spent most of that time in Illinois, and about two years ago I moved to the Low Country, to Beaufort. We had some family here, and uh, looking forward to the warm weather and uh, you know spending more time with some family. And uh, I was lucky enough to apply for a position here at Bridges as the upper school principal at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, and recently uh, have, have been promoted to the interim head of schools and I'm excited to be here. I'm sure that uh, you're gonna bring a lot of excitement as Ms. D said. So it's spring now, as we mentioned, isn't it beautiful out today? Awesome weather nice. and warm and with spring semester of school comes a lot of different activities. So let's talk about some of the curriculum and some of those other things. Well, the curriculum, I would really turn that over to Chris as a board. Okay. We deal with facilities, finance, and those things, but when it comes to the actual running of the school, that is something that we tend, and again, we put in people that we think are great. They, um, we, there was no hesitation on our part when we did the transition, so I would let Chris give you some ideas about the curriculum and what's going on right now, because I know you have some testing with some other things. So, Sure. Uh, right now we are uh, finishing, not finishing, we're in the middle of our second semester. Um, we have grades K through 10 um, at our, uh, in our facilities. We're located on 
three campuses at the moment. Uh, K through two is at our Celadon building, our three through seven is on uh, our Boundary Street facility, and then we also uh, have uh, eight, nine, and 10 at our Green Street location. Um, and we, this spring, we, as soon as Dr. Herbst and I took over, we got to, got to work really trying to figure out what's working well for us, what's not working so well, um, evaluating our staff, evaluating some of our curriculum and, and procedures. And, and as we move forward into the new, uh, new facility, um, we're uh, trying to make some decisions that uh, are not typical for, for, for most schools because we'll, we'll have to be moving into some uh, learning cottages, um, which will take our grades 8, 9, 10, and as we add 11th grade, uh, next year, so we'll be taking all of those students out to the site, which is, is kind of exciting for us, but uh, scheduling those and trying to make sure that, that we have everybody in the right place is uh, a bit of a challenge, but we'll get there. Now clearly you're expanding because 11th grade is coming next year. Share with us where your enrollment is now and maybe how many, your, what's your faculty look like in staff wise, numbers wise? Right now our enrollment is a little over 600 students. Um, at the high school level we're right at about 120. Uh, next year we'll be almost at 200 um, high school students. Um, our faculty runs about 70 at the moment. We're probably going to be upwards of 80 next year. Mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of where, where we're at en enrollment wise. That's great. What do you anticipate for 11th grade as far as the curriculum is concerned? Um, we're going to have the uh, typical 11th grade classes, uh, chemistry, physics, um, you know, algebra, to um, we're looking to try to add some AP courses. Of course, that um, depends on the uh, number of students that would be, um, you know, uh, able to take that, that course. And we also have to have, make sure that we have certified teachers that are doing that. Right now, we do have one teacher that's certified for AP uh, Bio and uh, we're looking to have a couple of others um, certified over the summer. Uh, we're also doing dual enrollment credit now with uh, TCL, and so those, those are some of the, the things that we're, we're offering as we grow into a full uh, mature high school. Okay, there's a lot to learn, so you all stay right here. We'll be right back with more 843 TV.